G'day guys, Joel Mate Jim here from Red Trucks. Um, I'm at my local flea market, which is held the last Sunday of every month. Uh, I've been coming here for ages. In fact, I see this old play equipment here. We used to come here my, when my daughter was about five or six, and she used to play on that. There goes a train. Yeah, it's funny how things change, but some things stay the same. Like times change, but things stay the same, I mean. She's now 20, and this is the same uh, original equipment that was here you know, 15, 16 years ago or longer. Same with this old table I'm sitting at. So yeah, uh, I'm just waiting for my wife for now. I always finish the market before her, and I usually sit at this table waiting for her. Sometimes my daughter comes with us. But um, yeah, I've, I didn't film the stalls today because I've had a bad experience at this market previously. Um, I was walking along filming you know, months ago and I hear this voice behind me saying, excuse me, can I take your picture? And I thought nothing of it, it didn't occur to me someone was talking to me. So I kept walking and I heard it again, excuse me, I'd like to take your photo. And I turned around and there's this middle-aged woman, let's call her Karen, and she was talking to me. She said, you're not allowed to walk around filming this market. I said... Well, why not? Tell me. Um, there's no signs up saying no filming. I'm not filming young children. Um, it's perfectly legal. And anyway, I stood at her looking at her and we just, you know, walked, walked away, parted. No profanities were exchanged, but it just really riled me up, you know. There's nothing illegal about filming a market, a flea market. So anyway, I have filmed here since that time, but... I just didn't feel like filming today. So anyway, let's have a look what I bought. There was a guy selling um, military vehicles, magazine models. And he was selling these for $5 each. And I could not believe it. Look at that. He had about 20 or 30 of them, plus the magazines. I didn't get the magazines. No, I didn't want them. But look at these. I picked out some really unusual ones here. And... Like I said, five dollars each, that is an absolute bargain. I couldn't pass it up. I went for the more um, unique looking ones um, rather than just you know tanks. And he had a great great variety there. So anyway, yeah, that's what I bought today. Um, there were the usual car sellers here. Not my favourite guy who sells fire trucks, but there were a few others. Uh, nothing really caught my eye So yeah, just a short little video about my or our Sunday afternoon at flea market um, Yeah, this is a great market like I said, I've been coming here maybe 15 years uh, It's gradually got a bit smaller and smaller, which is a bit sad Flea markets in general in Sydney are, are dying off I feel there's no, nowhere near as many as there used to be. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. Uh, back from the flea market. So let's take a look at what I got. Um, as I said in the video, um, I went to the flea market. It's my usual flea market. We go every, uh, every month. It's on the last Sunday of every month. And there's the usual die-cast sellers. Uh, unfortunately, this time, my uh, favourite seller wasn't there, the guy who brings uh, fire trucks. But there was a new guy there this time, and he had a like half a table full of um, die-cast tanks. And I, I went and had a look at them, and um, I saw a few I liked and looked at a price, and he was selling them for five bucks each. Now, five bucks each is just amazing, because these... I'll put up, um, up in the corner there, I'll put up a comparison where there's a guy selling a similar range of um, tanks on Gumtree, and he's selling them for like, I think it's $35. And so five bucks for these, they're worth easily 20 or 30 bucks each. I mean, the plastic case alone is worth $5. And uh, he also had the magazines. I uh, went through the stack of magazines trying to find the ones that match these three models, but they weren't there, so no big deal. Uh, if they were there, I would have taken them, but, uh, you know, it's just uh, takes up space anyway and... Food for the uh, silverfish. So anyway, um, let's uh, let's get them out of these plastic cases. Try to. 
There's a little bit of sticky tape there. There we go. I had a look at these um, earlier, and these have got those terrible triangle screws. Uh, let me show you. And I don't have a triangle screwdriver. See that? But luckily, two of these um, did come loose with a normal Phillips head screwdriver. And I think it was that one I couldn't get off the base. So better go down a bit. Yeah, I couldn't get that one off the base. So anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so what I was, what was I saying? Yeah, five dollars. I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't really collect military vehicles, um, but for five dollars each, how can you pass these up? I'm getting to a stage now where if I see a bargain at a market or online, and I know it's worth a lot more than the guy is selling it for, then I will usually um, buy it. It's just how I am lately. <laughs> I just got to find the right uh, flathead screwdriver that I was using before. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yep. So I believe these are all from World War II. Uh, what did the base actually say? It might help us out a bit. So 15 centimeter Panzer Werfer 42 SD KFZ 41. Worth for Brigade 7, Orne River, France, 1944, so yeah, World War II. Uh, shout out to my buddy in uh, Cuxhaven, Germany, um, the renowned military historian, uh, Paul Sparky Spa. Shout out to my good mate there. How's it going, Sparky? I think you'll enjoy these. So these are, in fact, mostly die cast. Uh, with a plastic rotating, looks like a rocket launcher there. Let's see what it says on the base. Nothing to see there. Uh, the tracks don't move. Great detail on the um, mechanisms and the wheels and things. Camouflage, got a pick. Even the wheels are partly camouflaged. There's a number plate there. Might just uh, zoom it a bit. Yeah. Even on the headlights, there's... Are they headlights? I'm not sure. Those, those two things... Where's my pointer? Those, those two round things there. Yeah, I don't think they are headlights, that one and that one. I think these are the headlights, that one and that one. So yeah, number plate. So that front wheel is different to the left-hand side front wheel, which has got the camouflage paint on it. Yeah. Around to the back, the number plate again. And the rocket launcher, which actually doesn't go up and down, but it does swivel 360 degrees. So, yeah, the guy had plenty of Tiger tanks and Panther tanks, Jag Panthers. Um, but I, I, um, I was more interested in the unusual ones, the half tracks and things like that. So I think this is a pretty cool one. What's that on top there? It's not a gun. I'm not sure what that's for. Yeah, pretty cool. For five bucks, I mean, 
<laughs> you can't complain about five bucks. That is just great value. So yeah, there's that one. Yeah. Let's move these forward. Yeah. Let's use this as a bit of a display. Try and get in shot there. Okay, now this one will not come off the base. This is a Bergpanzer Tiger P. You can read all that. Anzio and Natuno. So this one was in the Italy uh, front. 1944, same as the other one. Uh, yep. So I'm not sure what this tank actually did. It's got some sort of apparatus on it. It's, as far as I can see, it's got no weapons. Bit of spare track at the front. These tracks uh, don't move, they're fixed. So a different type of camouflage from the first one. The hatches and the vents for the engine. Yeah, I'm not sure what that little gadget there is, a black one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's got any type of um, uh, weaponry on it. So yeah, I'm not sure what that apparatus would do. Is it a? Is it to lift something? I'm not sure. Look at my hands. Look at those calluses. Look at those nails. These are the hands of a working class man. Look at those calluses. Oh man. There's no way I'll get I'll be hired as a hand model. Uh yeah, getting a bit sidetracked there. <laughs> so yeah, there's oh, there's a gun there. There's a little machine gun just there. Ah. So it does have a weapon. But yeah, I'm not sure what that apparatus does. It seems to be able to lift something. But yeah, I just liked it. It was different, so I bought it. Not sure what I'll do with these. I might swap them or give them away. Or I might just keep them. Who knows? Alright, there's that one. Let's just fix these up a bit nicely. And then the uh, third and final one, I'll just get off the base. Yeah, who, who's the bright spark who puts these triangular screws in? I mean, are they trying to be smart or what? Why would you use triangular s s uh, screws? So anyway, uh, what, what, what is this one? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. But apparently it was in Libya in 1941. So this is three years before the other two. 44 and 44, yeah. So these are all from uh, different uh, areas in the war. I, I like this one the best because it's um, it's got four axles, so it's very unusual. Let's get a bit of zoom going. A few accessories, shovels, and um, whatever else it is. Those little things, I don't think they're tra uh, decals or something, those black highlighted things. Yeah. So there's uh, the weaponry. Um, oh, it does rotate, but it can't because it's attached to this framework here. There's the front of it, number plate. A bit of protection on the front. This um, like shovel apparatus. Apparatus. Twin antennas. A 
they look like uh, fuel cans maybe I'm not sure why would you need that many maybe it's ammunition I'm not sure I'm sure Sparky will tell me spare wheel number plates are derived two number plates the same why why do that So yeah, that was my little flea market haul from, um, when was it? About two weeks ago. Because the market is actually on again um, this Sunday. They're not doing one at the end of the month because the end of the month it'll be uh, Christmas Day. So they're doing it um, this Sunday. So the guys there selling these again, I'll, I might pick up a couple more. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, which one did you like best? Yeah, I think I like this one best. Second, third. Yeah. Alrighty. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next Red Trucks video. This is Jim signing out. Bye-bye.